hello it's Sarah and I'm gonna be painting this rock I'm gonna do the the dragonfly pattern that I saw on Pinterest um, but first I wanted to share I got a few new dotting tools these were from Amazon and they were actually from China I believe they were shipped from China uh, so they took a while because I ordered them the same day as I ordered the book my mandala book mandala stones and this came like you know two days later this came you know I forgot all about it actually anywho what it is is <clears throat> acrylic what are these what would these be called I guess acrylic rods right they're not color coded or anything and they have no I don't think nope they're completely clear I have no indication of size on them but they definitely have flat bottoms. This set, I got this. Let's see, so there's six, seven pieces here. And they do graduate in size. I mean, not by millimeters or whatever. And I got this dotting tool set. It was all of this for $13.99. Um, it came, the, the little styluses came in this little thing. But I do believe they were from China. Um, they have, I want to say, the first, like, one side of the stylus definitely graduates down in size, and the other side is all the same size. If you know what I'm saying. So this side of the stylus, uh, they do graduate. They graduate in size. They're just much smaller this size has the bigger dots so I mean th this three pack that I got at Hobby Lobby it was just $9.99 but if you use a coupon you're good to go you have the same sizes basically I want to compare the biggest um you know what it looks very very similar I'd have to make a dot but this does look a little bigger the green one but then that being said this one the clear one looks bigger than this side, so. Um, but now I have a lot of variation, and these are super cute. I like cute stuff. Cute stuff makes you have more fun to do it. And then I also have, these are definitely, um, whoopsie whoops, my go-to crochet hooks. Um, I've had them, but these I haven't tried yet. The smaller ones, because I don't, today I won't be using these big ones because I had this dowel that I haven't used yet. Well, I did. I just played with it, but so that's still one size bigger. So I have four kind of graduating big sizes, um, and then I would probably go to these, the big crochet hooks. They graduate in size. I like these a lot because they're actually. Like this acrylic rod and this. Nope. Oops. This might actually be in between these. So I definitely have a good um, variation of sizes. Uh, these look really similar to these crochet hooks. So at the time I ordered these, I didn't have the crochet hooks, and then I went to Joann's and found the crochet hooks. So um, there's these these rods are really not necessary if you um, have a Joann's nearby, and you can just pick up these crochet hooks. Uh, I just wanted to see if it had the name because I always forget the name. It has the size on it. I think they're Susan Bates. Uh, crochet hooks and they were very cheap too all right so just wanted to get that out of the way so this pattern this design is something I saw on Pinterest that was on a rock and I did it on this little disc this wooden disc that I had and I like it but I think the dragonfly got lost I should have made him much bigger so when I redid it on the rock, I made that the focal, you know, the biggest part. And this rock, I painted it first. Um, and I think this should have been the front because it has it's flatter on the other side. But anyway, I'm going to do it here and it'll just be a little wonky. But 
This is the only rock I've ever done. So I'm going to paint a few flowers. I've just drawn them with a chalk pencil. And then I'm going to add dots to everything. So I'm going to paint this just regularly with probably like a number two or three round brush. Um, I don't think I'm going to do the wings in white pearl. I think I'm going to use pink pearl and keep it to these colors. And I'll just use, because I'll, let me see if I can pull up. Although I wanted to show you something else. They had other dotting tools on here. There's, it's called Muxan, M-E-U-X-A-N. Um, 10 piece dotting tool ball stylus for man mandala rock painting uh, $8.79 on Prime and there's another one that's similar with pink I think it's probably the same size that's $8.99 so there are other options that maybe didn't come from China oh I was going to show you this picture on Pinterest um, it is this little guy so it won't be exactly obviously I can't recreate it exactly right here so this is how they did it and I like I like the pink wings it's fine because you know I generally I paint dragonflies and I'll use my iridescent greens and stuff for the wings but for this design I think it's super cute I'm just gonna do a really really faint pink um, my little uh, sour apple green for the body and then I'll paint the flowers pink too I put one up top and two down bottom and this one just has the flowers kind of on the back excuse me back end and then there's just dots on the front end but I'm gonna um, you know, do a variation of that alright so I'm gonna go off camera and I'm just gonna paint this Actually, I can just, well, I, I'm going to get my paints ready. I'll be right back. Okay, I've got some colors out. I'm going to use the Martha Stewart Pink Taffeta for the wings. I'm using, oh, these are so cruddy. This is a number one round, and I want to say this is a two or three. I'm probably going to use the bigger one. Um, no, you know what? I'll take it down. I'm going to add a little water, and this paint is kind of thick. So I'm going to go over to my palette paper and make it like a little slicker because I want to do a good job on these wings. And what I learned from doing it the first time is, I'll zoom in, I want there to be a little black line in between to separate them. I don't, I mean, you can see the separation, but it, I want it more distinct. Anyway, that's my goal. So I'm just going to really kind of be more kind of patient this time. And I don't think I'm going to do a second coat because I think I just want it to be a shiny little kind of um, translucent, you know. Wings are... I don't know. I, I guess I've been up close to a, a bug, and their wings aren't um, opaque. Now, that is a little thick, but I'm going to back off. All right, I think that's good enough. Just going to pull out any ridges that I left. But now when I do the next one, that's going to be where I really want to keep it away from the other one. So I'm going to go over here. Do this wing first. I should be using a really fine tipped brush on that little section. So maybe I'll grab my liner brush. I'm kind of keeping the ends of the wings a little bit squared. The rock has little divots in it there so just going to be careful and try to fill them. I just painted the rock with matte black paint, just craft paint. And it has a nice surface. Like, Alright, so now I really want to get... A, I'm going to grab my liner, which is just... It's a little... It's a much thinner... Has fewer hairs. So I'm going to grab that and try to tuck that in here 
to make this top wing. Am I zoomed in? Yeah. So I'm just sticking it right there. I just don't want them to touch. It's kind of touching the green, but I like it. I'm just going to switch back to the bigger brush. It'll just cause fewer um, ridges if I have a bit of a wider brush. Painting with such a thin brush, I would just have to keep painting over. It wouldn't cover as big of an area, in other words. So I'm just letting the paint slide on there. Nice thin coat. Let's see if I like. Now you can see the uh, chalk line I made, so obviously that's not part of the wing, but that all will come off at the end. But I like it a little wider. I'll actually I'm going to come back with some black, and I'm going to separate those a little better because I just want it. I'm going to take my time with this one. Now. I think that wing looks longer than this wing. Not that bad. I think I'll keep it. So I'm just going back to my palette and I'm mixing the paint around. I got a little more paint. Um, I'll start on this end just because I can fill in. See that divot in the rock? So I'll just stick the tip of the brush in there and fill it in. a little wider on the other side. Just don't want it to get too close to. But you know what? I'm going to fix it with the black anyway. So I'm just really up on the tip. And I will I'm going to fix it. I'm going to put a line of black down the middle of that to really separate it. Let me just look in the camera and see. That looks pretty good. And then for the body, I'm going to use this, um, oh, sorry, sour apple. I was looking, the Martha Stewart's on the different, it's in a different area. So, so this is sour apple, and again, I'm just, I'm going to make dots with it, but for right now, I'm going to use that same brush and a little bit of water on the bristles just to make it move and keep it thin. I like a nice thin coat. Now, that part of the circle there is close to the wing, so I'm just going to keep it, you know, I'm going to try not to touch again. That's the whole key for me now um, with dotting is that I, I like the result much better when um, the dots don't touch, but that isn't necessarily uh, as easy said. Uh, as easily done. You know what I'm saying? Anywho, um, in other words, my dot my dots touch a lot. So really, I want to make sure these little uh, pieces of his body, these sections, stay separate. Oops, see how close? But that's okay. You want it close. I'll probably put a second coat on here. I'm gonna just not make them too oval. I want them a little rectangular. Actually oval would be a good, but a little square oval, whatever. Okay, I'm not being very descriptive today, my words. And I am trying to get smaller as I go. And you'll, when you paint circles, um, you'll see they grow on you. And then I'm actually going to dot the, did I just stick my, uh, I'm going to dot oh, I think I could probably dot this next one, but I'll, I'll paint it. How's that? I think it'll look super when I, um, base coat it and I'm going to do these little flowers in bubblegum pink. Just a very light shade of pink, soft, but not the not the um it's a, not a metallic, it's a pearlescent pink. I don't want to use the same pink. So again, 
just a little bit of water. Actually, when I say water on my brush, it just means that the bristles are wet, but I blot it off. I'm not going, there's no like drippy water on here. And I really want to be specific again with these. I want to keep them um, super separate. Like I really don't want them to touch. So each petal is going to come in to the center and have a bit of black in between. I like that anyway I'm gonna I'm shooting for that this time so if you look at these these were just kind of blobs and they look like flowers there's nothing wrong with that but I really want to get see when I see something on Pinterest the reason I like it uh, has to do with um, the way it was painted you know I mean I might not have liked it as much if it were just blob flowers, but re the reason it appealed to me was because it looked so crisp. I can't explain it. It's just a, my personal preference, and so if I'm going to recreate it, I want to recreate it in that fashion, although I just did it with blobs, because I was winging that one. This one, I'm being a lot more specific. I, I purposely drew it on here to make sure I had that little shape so I mean those two got a little close but for the most part I like that you can see the black line in between the petals they don't completely touch not that there's anything wrong with that you know I just had my um, I wanted it to be this way that's all I like that the look of that like coming into a point Oops, so it got a little wide over there. And the ridges, see, I can see thick paint. So I just went in and kind of pulled them off. Now this one I can, actually there's room, so I'm just gonna move this over and come in a little further away from it and move this part over because I had the room. Just the way I drew it, it was a little further, so I definitely could fix that Oh my goodness. I'm going to have to put the fan on. It feels muggy. It's a very humid today. But inside it's nice and cool. But um, I think, I don't know, maybe I'm just... I had coffee a little while ago. And that makes me very warm. So see, I'm just really trying to bring it in, and I like the look of that. So that's why I'm doing it. Got a little pink there. Just have a Q-tip ready, and I just use my spit. But and you can always clean things up with black paint at the end. That's why I've decided I'm not going to coat anything with um, matte medium beforehand. At the end, I may give it a coat of matte medium. Um, Lydia May just did a video about adding gel medium, and I didn't watch it. I was just really tired last night, but I saw some of it. And um, I got to watch that because I want to see what she's talking about, why she's adding gel medium to her dot projects. Um, she said it... it um, something I don't remember I have to watch it so I'm just gonna keep that small the therm your rock may have little divots in it oopsie but I just want to now as I go I'm gonna make sure that I let's see am I in the shot just really want to keep it separate We had fun yesterday. We went out to dinner. Um, gosh, 
gosh, you know what? I think it was called Firestone Grill. Does that make sense? Because Firestone sounds like tires, the brand of tires. Stone Fire, Firestone Grill. Oh, well. Anywho, it's all about rotisserie cooking, like rotisserie chickens and turkeys and, um, well, they had lots of other stuff, too. They had a, We had fondue for appetizer. But all the chicken, like if you had chicken in your appetizer, it was fondue chicken. Like, not fondue chicken, rotisserie chicken. Um, and it was, it was about like, uh, an hour from here. Not quite, probably. Maybe like 45 minutes, but it was Memorial Day weekend. Everyone was leaving, because I live in South Jersey, so heading up north, away from here was a bit busy. Anyway, look. See? Do you see what I mean about them not touching? All right, I'm going to... Take, get some black and I'm going to show you why what I'm going to do um, just going to try to tweak the wing area with my little my liner brush here see if I can get I want to just make this a little finer so I'm going to go over it And I like that, but I'm going to make the other one a little pointier, too. So I think I'm going to go here. And we're going to put dots in there. Anywho, it's a, it's in a shopping center, like a, you know, yeah, a shopping center, like a strip mall, but it's all fancy stores in there. Like there was a Coach, a Vera Bradley, Pandora, um, L.L. Bean was like the one of the main big ones. And um, so, of course, I, oopsie, I didn't want to do that. I stopped at Pandora. They were just closing, but I got what I wanted. Um, anywho, it was uh, very hot here in New Jersey. Let me see if I... I like it. I think I would rather not have separated them as much. Like, I love that. And I want to do a little bit around the head. Just kind of straighten it out right here. And so um, we definitely spent time outside. So it's nice to have a nice indoor day today. I'm going to turn on my fan. All right, I'm going to finish this up. I'm going to put another coat on everything so that it's opaque, and then we're going to start dotting. I'll be right back. All right, as I'm looking at my picture, my reference, she only they only did three of the um, body parts and then dotted the rest, which I think would probably look better, but I'm just going to dot the tail. So we're going to go... That looks good. I'm in a hole there. Um, go down a size. That's good. I mean, it could go further. I think that's good. Um, so, all right, let me just, I just want to show you what I got at Pandora. Sorry, I was thinking. Um, so I had gotten, uh, this was back in December. So I got this Poetic Blooms bracelet, and I had gotten a bunch of different charms and whatever. Well, I took it all apart, and I just made it all my favorites, and I'm loving it. This is a bit big, I would say. It's a 7.5, but, uh... I don't know. I'm gonna. I'm sticking with it. I have the Home Sweet Home. It's one of my faves. A lot of these I got on um, eBay too, guys. This is the Dragonfly 
meadow, my peace sign. This is retired, but I had one of these on my old one that got stolen. This is the facets, something facets, and I think it's the op pink opalescent, and I love it. And then just a little heart spacer. Um, this is, these are, they're new. It's like from the spring collection, but I think it kind of goes with this because it has um, daisy flowers or a little, I guess they're daisies, um, and with CZs. And there's little hearts all over the top. My painter's palette, which started it all. And this is retired since I got it, so I'm so happy I did. But this is what I got yesterday. I got the coffee, the to-go coffee mug. It's not a mug. It's like a to-go coffee cup. And on the back it says Pandora, and there's the little heart with the Pandora sign. And then in the front it says, take a break. You can't really see that. Um, this is my little fairy, fairy meadow, fairy garden meadow. I don't know. There's a fairy on there, and she has butterflies and more of those daisies, the same daisies that are there. And then here's the daisy spacer that kind of goes with the clasp. This is a new one. I forget what this is called. Um, it's just a like a pink. I don't know if there's three different gem little CZs in there. The ice cream cone and my bird. And then I got this yesterday. This is just a um, a clip because <clears throat> when you take them off, <clears throat> if you don't have anything to hold them, like my bird kept screwing down and it was going to come off. So that's it. So I'm loving it and I wear it. I wear it like every day. I haven't been wearing my two-tone as much because I just love this. The pink in it, like it's soft and pretty. It's all silver. Oops, I didn't get it. It's all silver. And um, oh, I got to use... Sorry about that, but so yeah, so I got, and because it was Memorial Day, if I spent a hundred, I could have gotten a free bangle, but I didn't want a bangle. So I guess I spent around like 75 or 80, I'm not sure. Um, yeah, I don't like the bangles as much. I want to get an open bangle, but I thought, yeah, I'm good. I'm, I like buying on eBay because um, I get stuff so much cheaper. And it's the same thing. Like I was even showing the girl, like I got a lot of this on eBay and she's like, well, it looks, it's real. So anyway, and even if it's not, I'm happy. So I, I love it. All right, back to dotting. So my, my reference from Pinterest also has green um, leaves near the flowers. I'm not going to do that. I'm going to leave that off. And we're just going to dot a couple, maybe like, this size dots so let's see I maybe I'll do it with the smallest of the um I want to maybe go one size up I'm gonna do the red and we're gonna go like different color centers so a green a pink so just of what I have out here I'm gonna do a green one maybe like over here here that's pretty big and then I think I'll do a big pink one like over here and what about I think they used the light pink too so I think I'm gonna do that um, very thick the pearlescent I'll do a big one of them right I'll do it right here and then they also have just little pink um, spiral dot flowers I'll show you so I'm gonna do them my centers are gonna be with the pearlescent so I'm going to make a couple of them. I should, I should kind of, no, I want to put them in first. So I'm going to do my centers with this pearly color. Like right here. I want to do a bigger one, bigger center, I mean. So this is where I'm just winging it. And I'm going to make the dots around that with the pink. 
So my puddle's getting a little shallow now, so I probably could uh, add a little more paint, but we'll just go. So I'm going to go just fill in. And I really, really don't want to touch. I don't want to touch the green or the wing or the center, which I just really went super close to that. And I'm just going to go up a size and do the same thing with the pink. Oops. See, I, I need to make my puddle. Oop, I'm touching the center. I need to make my puddle a little deeper because the paint isn't really... And I should definitely put them elsewhere. So I'm going to make a big dot over here. And because I'm working on a rounded surface, it's going to be a little bit more awkward, guys. I'm going to do a little bit smaller dots. And... Really try not to touch. Oh man, this is awkward. Just fixing if it is a little wonky. Try and fit two more in here. I'm going to put, alright, so I have those big dots, three big dots. Hmm. There really aren't any, um, there are some white dots on the piece too, which I do like because it, it really brings, it's just, there's a white center dot. So let's do that. I'll get my white. I think I have a satin white I just got. So I might, let's see, this is Americana multi-surface satin. So I'm going to use that for the centers of the flowers. It's a little thick, but, um, And then I'm going to put, get out some blue and teal and play with them a little bit. So let's see, I want my biggest, this one. White, sorry, I forgot what I was doing. So just put that in the middle. There's a bubble. See, I really wanted the dot not to be um, in the middle of the pink. Uh, well, yeah, obviously, I want it in the middle of the pink. But I want it to touch black, too. So that one looks good. See how it's kind of touching black? So that looks good. So I'm going to put... Huh. I think I'm just going to start dotting. I'm going to get out these blues. So all I'm going to use are these two. This one's a satin, and this one is just a regular. It's Bahama Blue and Satin t Tide Pool. Um, I don't want to go too dark. I'm going to start dotting. I'm going to do some dots around this guy. And I'm going to do it with the darker of the blue. not touching but very close together this is going to be my goal and also trying not to touch anything wet nice and then i'm going to put a ring around that should i go down in size yeah maybe i'll go down Doesn't really seem like. Oh, I touched. I really want to make. See, I shouldn't have done it. I'm doing it like in between the above dots, and I shouldn't have done that. I should have just went as like put as many dots as I could. So I'm going to go to the smaller dotting tool and just fill that in. That's my mistake. 
because that's not the look. The look is just a, a line, a line, a line, like a line above each line. So that's all right. It's still going to look pretty. And then I'll do, how about a row of white? And then back to, I'm going to do another row of those. And I'm going to try and keep it just a straight row, not in between or anything. And definitely when I get close to things, make sure there's, oh, I touched the blue. But I don't, I want there to be black in between everything, so. See, not touching the wing. Just that I start to get fast. And that's where the quality of your work goes down the tubes. Because you're rushing. Oh. <laughs> so I made a total uh, mark there. Um, it's all right. I'm not going to beat myself up. <coughs> I think it looks cool <clears throat> and we're gonna go back with the darker blue and just fill oops <clears throat> I don't want to touch fill in I touch the green <clears throat> let me see if I can get that off because I know the green is dry I touched. I can't not touch for some reason. So I'm going to go around the outside of here. See how I like bash into the, like I'm so rough. Oh, I touched the pink. I really don't want to touch. I don't want to be whiny. I don't want to touch. Oops, look, there's a little space right here. I gotta fill. All right, it's touching. There's, well, uh, it's fine. It's cute. I'm liking it. Okay, but the thing is, we gotta, like, I gotta start connecting things together. So, I don't know if you know what I mean. I'm gonna put a light blue dot right here and I'm going to go around that with white I'm just looking at this reference so that's where I'm coming up with this oops I really want to be careful sometimes there's paint on the bottle and it can get on your hands so just be careful I have a baby wipe here. I just keep changing baby wipes. That's what I'm using to wipe off my tools. But um, just check your hands every now and then. Make sure you didn't put them in wet paint. I'm going to go around that big dot with some white dots. A little bigger. I saw someone a couple days ago. I haven't really been on YouTube the last couple days, but um, she actually does dotting with paint brushes that she's let dry up and uses the Ive. Oh, it's not even round. Cute! Alright, and then I think I want to add A little row of the like pearlescent pink now the consistency of this is a lot stickier so just you can make like strings if you pick it up and it just it'll make a string and it also leaves a little bit of a peak so but it'll dry it'll be okay it'll be round anywho um you can make dots with anything. You don't need 
fancy tool. Oh, it's getting a little gloppy. Fancy tools, but um, I just like having them. All right, I'm going to do... This looks really messy. Go back to that light blue. I think I'm going to go down a size. I think these dots are too big. I think I should have been dotting this the whole time with smaller dots because I want my dragonfly and flowers to be the focal thing and like the dots, if they're too big, it just kind of takes over. But, it, oh, see, I touched. these little circles are obviously not the, the focal image thing, you know, they're not what I want to be the most, uh, the, what your eye catches the most. Um, I hope I'm not putting my hand, holding my hand in something. But I really like the effect of these just circular patterns in the background because it kind of it just kind of looks like flight or something so I don't know I just like it I think I want to put a little bit of green around here too because I want it to kind of pull from the dry like make it a little leafy uh oh see I touched the white gotta be careful I don't know if I should re-dot it yet sometimes if it there okay um, I want to make this a little rounder. That's good. So basically I'm going to do that. So there's a green dot here and there's a pink dot here. I think I'm going to go around this one more time though with the smaller of the dark. Let's go dark. And let me see if I'm looking at my reference. She keeps it pretty, um, one row at a time, like not too many, like not repeating colors too much. Oh boy. My hand's getting like a little shaky because I think I'm moving too fast. Some are touching, but guess what? Oops. It's going to look fine. It's going to look great. I got to go get some more rocks. I got this rock from my neighbor's pool. They have the big um, lava rocks, I guess they're called. See, I like that because it has like three colors in it. This one only has two, well, not counting the center. I think I'm going to put a row of... I want to put a row of green somewhere. I'm going to start this one with a row of green. So I'm going to go back. And I have a fan on, so this these puddles could be getting a little dried out. So just FYI. Um, I think Kristen, actually, Kristen Urig is one of the daughters that I watch on YouTube. She puts a wet paper towel over her um, palette to keep her paints moist when she's not using them. And I think I'm going to put, oh boy, I don't have another dot. I kind of want to go with, um, I'm going to do a, a small row of green. All right, anywho, um, sorry. Now let's just move away from there. I guess I'll do... I want to kind of butt into that and see what happens. I want to do blue again. Maybe I need some of these little flowers again. Oopsie. I'm going to go 
Really try not to touch. So right in there, I'm going to use a smaller tool, but I'm going to go one more round around that. So dotting is very time consuming, obviously, and most of the dotting videos I've seen are sped up, which makes sense, and I do appreciate it, because the only thing um, you don't get from a real-time dotting video would be why you're choosing the colors you're choosing, like they're not explaining that, just showing the process and telling what colors, but not why or... But it looks pretty, right? I like it. I think I should do some fillers in here. I'm going to fill with the darker blue. And just fill. Touching. Uh oh. My pinky went into the light blue right there, but no real damage. And then, uh, oops, I lost my inspiration. There it is. Hmm. I don't like that this is the same curve. I'm going to put some white flowers, too. So I'm going to use... Um, I'm going to use the fluorescent, well I call it fluorescent and it's not, it's um, okay. I'm going to put a white flower here and here and here. Just a little one. Well this is actually my biggest dotting tool. Oh, I touched the blue again. So my blue, you maybe we don't want to go too far down the side because uh, chances are you're going to stick your fingers in it. Nice. I'm gonna. I got to go down in size because I. That's going to take up too much room. Let me see the damage. Not too bad. Definitely fixable. This is a little more like I rubbed it and connected them. But I'm going to put smaller flowers here and just fill in with this row. Oh, I got to, you got to use something to steady your hand. Can't just be winging it. But look how fast I move. That's just me, my nature. All right, and then I'm going to come back with I want you to row a pink over here too, but this is hard for me. I got to put green. I think I'll go around with green. I'm going to go around with green. I did green. It's all right, I'll do it again. Right here. Mm. 
and kind of um, represent the leaves being there, but I don't want green to, maybe it was too close to the dragonfly's tail. So, and now I'm really going low here, so I'm going to stop. But I want to fill this in with pink or white, so um, what about blue, the light blue. I'll do a round. No, I got to keep going with this one. And I should go here. I'm going to do this. Light blue right here. Maybe these dots are too big, but I don't know why I felt like putting them. And another row. Too big. I'm going to go down. See how I get hasty and I that's how I'm gonna touch and if I don't want to touch I gotta go slower because I want to fill in into the center of the flower I'm gonna do another color I'm gonna go with white no I kind of need to start another flower over here yeah I think I am going to do a white circle And this is going too far down. I should probably stop and let that dry a little. I just want to finish this off so that, it, like, I'm going to put pink in there. I'm just going to use pink and, like, fill in. Maybe I'll finish. I'm going to go around that with pink. I'm going to need more because it's not a very juicy puddle. Oh, now I touch the green. Oh dear. And I can always hit it with a little black to fix the... I like that. And then I'll fill in with... I kind of want to fill in with more pink. Yeah, I think I'm just going to take a small... I don't want to really go up to that one. Hmm. I think green needs to go here. I'm going to fill in with green. I 
Oopsie, went in the wrong color. So that's basically it, guys. I'm going to continue on. I'm liking it. I think compared to this one, the, butt, the dragonfly was just way too small. So I like this one. I think I can see the dragonfly. My flowers are definitely more of a, a focal point. I do think I could have made the the black around the um, things a little bit more defined. And I may come back with the black and outline things. But I'm going to go away and I'll come back when it's done. Alright, because basically that's it. I just have to fill in everything. Um, I don't know if I'll do top dots. It looks like I touched this because I looks no you know what that's just rock under there I did a few top dots on here basically just putting pearlescent paint on top of a few things all right so I'll be back and show you what it looks like when it's done I'll be back all right it's done boy it looks pretty on camera let me zoom in I definitely feel like I can't see the tail so I think I have to go around with a black I might use a Posca I might use my black Posca pen it's just a paint pen let's see if this is uh, and it's not completely dry because of course I'm rushing this might be hmm is it too wide I don't know like I want there I think it's too wide Yeah, but I think that's what I want it to look like. I'm, I'm going to go with the, the thinner one. I have to find my thinnest pasta. And I'm going to go around the whole thing. And that's just what I'm going to do because I really, that was my intention. Now I just got to find it. It's not in the pack. I'll be right back. But I'm going to go around some stuff. And when I come back, that tail is going to be popping everything's going to be popping i'm just going to do a f and i could do it with a brush but it really is going to take longer i want to try it with the posca first so i'll be right back all right i found it i haven't used these in a while all right that's the thinnest these are it's called uni posca they're i think japanese but it's a paint pen and everything's not completely dry so this is a little bit reckless, but I really want to see if there's a big difference. I like it better. I think it just pops better with the black, but I have to outline everything. And I'm being kind of bumpy and lumpy. But I shouldn't have put a dot next to so close. I have, I'm going to have to redo like some of the, like I'll, I'll reshape the the green but like even here I just shouldn't have made dots right up against it I mean what was the point of me getting so close I'm sorry, leaving a black in between these petals and then I just paint it over it. So, I'm not sure if I just really ruined it, but I'm going to go around everything and I'll be back and let you see the difference. I'm specifically just going to go around the flowers and the dragonfly and fix it, kind of make it thinner. I think it's going to look better. Okay, I'll be right back. All right, it's done. I it's not disappointing I'm gonna be happy it makes me happy I love dragonflies but 
I still didn't accomplish like look right here I think well now I gotta fix it because I see it but like I went over in between these and created the black space um, but I, I, I there we go that's fine um, and you can definitely see the dragonfly better with the black lines there so I mean going around everything with black didn't really bother it I fixed the, the centers the white centers of the flowers it's just not my thing to leave that space but it definitely looks better when you do so I like it you can see my little guy now alright you guys so that was that a little rock painting today thanks for watching